Hello and welcome to measurement vignette number 15 from Duncan Cartledge Online. This short presentation will look at some of the issues associated with measuring below ground drainage in accordance with work section 34 of NRM2. A suggested taking off list is illustrated on this page. Measure the manholes or inspection chambers first, followed by the main drain runs and then the branches and fittings. When measuring inspection chambers, items such as step irons and manhole covers are generally measured separately, except on small scale systems when the RICS guidelines recommends they can be included with the description of the inspection chamber. When measuring below ground drainage, the following systems should be kept separate in the bill or work package. Storm or surface water, foul drainage and land drainage. In addition, work outside the boundary of the site and work under buildings have also to be kept separate. But there's good news, as many of the items associated with excavating and laying drain runs are deemed to be included. The depth of drain trenches between manholes, or manholes and fittings, is given as an average depth for the whole run, separated into increments of 500 millimetres. To calculate the depth of drain runs, as illustrated on this page, subtract the ground or excavation starting level from the invert level. Both these levels will be given on drawings or a schedule, and then add on allowances for the pipe and bedding and the granular bed. Occasionally, drain runs pass alongside existing roadways and or buildings, as defined here. In these circumstances, these runs must be described and billed separately. For the full video presentation on measurement of below ground drainage, subscribe to Duncan Cartledge online.